All right, now we're ready. Thank you, Pemicon, for waiting. Please proceed. Oh, are you just waiting for questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, yes, because at this point, we're both too tired for anything else. Yeah. Yeah. What are your plans for streaming and recording or recording program items at your convention? Our first moment in time, we're working. All right, with Robbie, you really do have to get right on that mic. Right on the mic. Right on the mic. Okay, right on the mic. He says, okay. okay. At the moment, we're working with our tech people to develop a full ability to provide virtual convention, i.e., stream, etc and have even social spaces online. How much we'll be able to do is going to depend upon the cost of what we have to do, because Thank obviously as a master, we won't have the same money as oil car. But we intend to get as much of it done as possible, which means that I expect to see most of the panels, particularly at the guest of honor, all recorded, preferably streamed, but if not stream, shown later. So a virtual membership will work for people, but you need to be at least a supporting member under all circumstances. Okay? And the other question that we're asking all the, all the uh, conventions is, what is the human rights situation in your area and country? What is the human rights situation in your area and country? At the moment, there's a reconciliation going on with Canada's First Nations. We have invited, as guests of honor, several First Nations people. We also have issued a First Nations travel fund in order to ensure that they're able to attend. And at the moment, I would tend to say that within Treaty Area 1, which is where Winnipeg is, everything is going pretty well at this time. I'm not aware of any difficulties. No. There's nothing currently being a problem. You can be gay. You can be straight. You can be stupid. You might get arrested if you do something illegal. But nobody's going to bother you about your sexuality, your gender, your race, your religion, or any other aspect of your personal self. Unless you plan on going nude. That might be a problem. Uh, what is your schedule for progress reports and updates? We expect to have a progress report out by the end of December, which will tell us more about the hotel and more about exactly how we're using our function space. At that time, we'll also be releasing the dates of when people can book their hotel room. The main reason we haven't got that out at the moment is there's a few tiny details on the hotel contract that we're working on because we want it to be the best possible contract. Um, how many memberships do you have now and how many do you anticipate? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Terry, it was 301 you said? Correct. And we anticipate between 750 and 900, it may be more. I should, We're I, keeping an eye on things. I should correct that. There's 300 attending, 450 in total. 350. 300 attending, 450 in total. There you go. All right. Uh, how are you doing with filling your staff needs? How are you doing with fill, filling your staff needs? Your staff needs. We're doing it fairly reasonably. We are fully staffed. We'll not we'll pretend we are. But we do have most of our major divisions. We have the, all of our major needs at this time. Um, there will be areas still requiring staff, and if people are interested, we really do want them to get in touch. Yeah. yeah. What are your current? What are you currently most worried about for your convention? And is there anything you need from this community? Your support, obviously. 
that's always necessary. It would be wonderful if somebody really wanted to run hospitality. That seems to be our biggest drawback at the moment. And this is in Winnipeg, where they do hospitality suites as a matter of course. So I'm not sure what their problem is. Maybe they're just nervous. Um, and also, if you have an area that you think you're really good at, please talk to us. Because it may be that we would like to have you work for us. Um, do you have detailed floor plans of space that you're going to be using for things like art show and dealer's room uh, available online? And if not, when are you going to provide them to people who are working in those areas? Um, they should have those fairly soon because we know the space we're going to have in the convention center, which is where dealers and art show will be. Uh, my exhibits head, Angela Jones, will be looking at that and attempting to decide how she's going to divide the space up, depending upon how many dealers she wants to have, etc. We have got space in the hotel as well, and there's a passageway between the hotel and the convention center, which I'm looking at for possibility of fan tables. Um, I expect, except for very major programming, everything else will be in the hotel. Major programming will be in the convention center. Is your space fully accessible, and are there any areas that will be difficult to negotiate if you are a disabled person? It is fully accessible. Uh, I will refer you to the access policy that we have, and you will see that both the hotel and the convention center have extremely rigid access requirements that mean you can get everywhere from anywhere without having to negotiate steps, to deal with sharp corners, things of that nature. Uh, last call, if anyone else has any other questions. You are beloved by fandom. Nobody wants to pepper you with questions. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sensing what this might say. Disturbance in the force. <laughs> Disturbance of the force by dropping it on the floor. Awesome. <laughs> I choose not to answer, ask that question. Uh, <laughs> you are you are dismissed. Honorably, thank you.